Hey everyone, in today's iMovie video, I'm going to show you how to blur faces inside of iMovie. Now, it's not built into iMovie, so there is a workaround that I found that makes it pretty easy to do, but you do have to take a couple of extra steps. If you really want to make this super easy to do, and if you're going to YouTube, YouTube actually has this built in where you could blur faces after you upload your video automatically. I have a totally different video about that and I'll put that in the link below this video in the description section so you could watch that if that's what you want to do. But if you want to do it directly in iMovie, I'll show you the workaround in this video. And I have a full course covering every single thing iMovie has to offer, so I'll put a link to that in the description below this video if you want to completely master iMovie. Right now, let's figure out how to blur faces inside of iMovie. So here I am inside of iMovie and I already dragged down the clip here and I want to blur one of these people's faces. Let's say I have permission from these two guys here, but I don't have her permission to use her in this video. So I'm going to blur her face. So in order to do that, first we need to create a graphic that is going to be used as a blur that we're going to throw on top of her face iMovie doesn't have that built in, so we'll go ahead and create the graphic really fast. You could use Photoshop if you have Photoshop, and you could just create an oval shape here, but I actually wanted to show you Canva. It's a little bit easier here. So go to canva.com, just create an account here. It's completely free if you don't want the paid upgrade to do this. And we're going to press create a design right here, and you want a custom dimension, and I just put 300 by 300 pixels for my video here. And if you have 4K video, you could just double this up and press create new design. Now here, we're gonna go to the left side and we're going to upload. So click upload and we need to upload, but we don't have anything to upload yet. So let me show you in iMovie, let's go back. We're going to go and we're going to find her face here and we're going to take a selection of just her face. So on Mac, if you press command shift four, you get this tool here where you could go ahead and drag and select. And when you let go, it takes a screenshot of your selection. Okay, now let's go back to Canva. Now that we have the selection, I'll upload that image from my device. It's gonna be on my desktop and it's this image. I'll double click it and there it is. It's uploading right here. And I could go ahead and drag it as soon as it uploads to my canvas and drop it here and I'll go ahead and resize it here to fit the whole canvas of what I created. So just about there and I need to blur it now. So the blur effect is under adjust and there is blur right here. So go ahead and select blur and take it as far as you can if you really don't want the person to be recognized. So there we have it. Now I could just press download here and make sure PNG is selected and I'll press download. Now it's gonna go to my download folder. So now if I go back to iMovie, I could press the little import icon here and bring it from my download folder. And there it is. So now all I have to do is grab this clip and bring it on top of my video clip. And I'm gonna stretch it out to match the length of the whole clip from beginning to the end. Now you could see it's moving up here, so we need to change something. Let's go ahead and select it and double click it and come up here to this crop effect. Click that and go to fit. We don't want Ken Burns here because we're not animating this picture. Go to fit here. That's the first thing you need to do. And the next thing you need to do is you need to come to this icon, click this icon here and change this cutaway to picture in picture. And there it is. This is the picture in picture. And you could go ahead and bring this on top of our face then grab the corners and just resize it to match. Now, if your subject is not moving, that's pretty much all you have to do. But in most cases, your subject may be walking like we have here. So we have another step that we need to take care of. Let me double click this again. Also, make sure dissolve is set to zero because we don't want this to fade in. We just want it to always be there. So I'll press enter with this as zero. Keyframing is basically an idea of tracking an image throughout your whole video. So in this case, if I go to the beginning of this clip here, I could come up here, select this again, and you see this little option, this little plus sign, it says add a keyframe to the playhead. So I'm gonna put this where I want, which is right over here, and I'm going to click this, and right now you added a keyframe, 
Now I need to use my arrow to keep going. So I'm just pressing the arrow here a few times. And when her face gets misaligned, I'll press it again and I'll move her blur back over here. Then a few more keys and then we'll move it again. And you don't even actually have to press the plus sign. Every time you make a change here, it will actually add a keyframe automatically. So let's bring her down here and so on. Now, the more keyframes you add, the more seamless this is going to look. So I suggest adding as many keyframes. So I'm just using the right arrow here, moving the video a few frames and then moving this blur and it's gonna keep adding keyframes. Now, if I go back to the beginning here, and press play, look what happens. The blur is moving with her. Now it doesn't look very natural because I didn't do a good job with making that selection here. So make sure when you create your selection, you just pick as much of the face as possible and leave everything else be. But it got the point across and it blurred the image for us. The other option is what I did in Photoshop is you could create this oval here. You could also create that on Canva. You could create an oval using the elements tool, for example. And you could choose an element like this, for example, and then you could use that instead of the background. So you could delete the background and use an element like this and then export that and put that on top of your image. So you have a couple of different options. So I know that was a bit of a workaround, but that is the way to blur faces inside of iMovie. Outside of that, your best bet is using YouTube. If you're going to YouTube, or you could learn Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects, which makes this process a lot easier, but those are more advanced editing software. So the learning process is a little bit more steep, but that's what I use if I'm professionally trying to blur a face or really any object inside of an editing software. But that's the way to do it on iMovie, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.